In this session we're going to get started with the very fundamentals of half tones, color tints, spot colors. And this is really for those of you who are new to the screen printing business who have some questions or might be wanting to learn about half tones and how to print them. Half tones are something that we use in our printing process in screen printing to create the illusion of tints or densities of color. And understanding how half tones work is critical to your success as a screen printer because as screen printers we work with very limited colors when we're doing our printing, perhaps two or three spot colors. If we understand how to work with half tones effectively, we can create jobs that look like they have five or six or seven colors working with half tones and tints of color. And really half tones are nothing more, as I said, than a way through which we create the illusion of color by using tints of color. Let's go ahead and scroll down here and take a look at a few things. I've got approximately four grayscales set up here on this page. One of which is a vector here, which has been set up with different colors of black. Here's 90%, here's 80%, here's 70%. Next to that, I have a grayscale bitmap. I actually converted this vector object to a grayscale bitmap. And on my grayscale, if I look with my eyedropper, I can get the same information as to how much gray I'm dealing with. You'll notice that up here in the black, we have zero gray. If we come down here to what's 90%, we have 25 gray. If we come down again, we have 51 gray. So we've converted our vector to a grayscale image. Now here's the same grayscale image set up as a monochrome with transparency. If I right click on this, you'll notice that and change the red here, that I now have what looks like, I want to select the monochrome bitmap, there we go, because the monochrome bitmaps are the only bitmap objects in Corel that support spot colors, with the exception of duotones. And this is a monochrome, and it's got a transparent fill and a black outline, which is really a black foreground and a transparent background. Monochromes are controlled by a right click to change the foreground color and let's say blue here, a left click to change the background color. Now I'll go ahead and make that transparent. Now we can see here that what we have is 100% red up here at the top, but as we go down, we start to get the illusion of pink because of the white behind blending with the tint or the density of the red that we have set up in the grayscale. Now over here I have the same image that's actually been ripped to halftone dots directly in Corel Draw. And we can see that what's happening is, is that the illusion of the color density is being created by these dots. As we go down in density, the dots get smaller. It starts to look lighter, more like a gray, until we get to the point where we have no dots and it would be zero density or we'd have just the white. But I can do the same thing here. I'll right click on the red and you can see how my halftone dots are creating the illusion of these tints of color that we have over here in this grayscale. And we can see the same thing over here. We took a vector object, which was just black fading out to white. We converted those to halftones with dots. And we can see how the dots go from greater density to lighter density based on the density of color in our object. And here we have the same thing with the red. And we go out, and when you're standing from a distance, this would look like pink out in here. Now the other thing that we can do with these colors and these densities of colors is we can mix them to create other colors. For example, here I have the monochrome set up as a grayscale. If I left click on the yellow, you can see that the blend going up the other way of the yellow and the red here in the center starts to make an orange. So if you're printing with red and yellow, you actually have the ability to print pink with the lighter reds, orange by mixing the red and the yellow. So do you see where we're going with all of these different options that we have available to us, even though we're working with just a few spot colors, if we know how to work with densities, tints of color, and halftones in CorelDRAW and mixing those. 
I'm going to go ahead and wrap here in this session relating to halftones and giving you a fundamental understanding of how they work and we'll continue in our next session taking a deeper look at how we work with halftones in our color separations in Corel Draw to be able to output halftone color separations and print them on a screen printing press.